Greetings Laddingtons, I'm checking in from good old Scandinavia. Unfortunately, Skadi did not bless us. I think it's because some of you didn't do your deadlifts. I am deeply disappointed if you didn't heed my advice. I made a video called This Has to Stop. Got a lot of views, I'm thankful for it. And I also said in the video that I, uh, I don't understand so many Laddingtons go into the gym and they do not do the basic compound heavy movements um, I don't know what to say even anymore uh, go like you know not all to jack the guys go into the gym an entire session is arms I mean arms yeah it's important but you know you need to build up some strength first but anyway that is my analysis on why Scotty hasn't blessed us with snow but who knows, if you do enough deadlifts over Christmas, she might bless us in good time so we can get some cool Swedish winter video logs. No, anyway, that is not the point of this video. I want to talk a bit about Christmas. But uh, we're gonna get deeper into the forest for optimal enlightenment. So a nice forest walk. You might see behind me there is a lake. We will go there. So a little nice walk and I'm rocking the Sword of Mars t-shirt for optimal testosterone and just a personal style note here I like to have something red when I have something black this is sort of black it's a nice contrast then also of course if you do deadlifts it's a good it's a good fit when you look yourself in the mirror see that sword and get some extra motivation but uh, enough rambling let's get into the forest so we're gonna head on to this forest path now That's a very cozy forest path, I must, I must say. I must aware you all of that fact. So basically, what I wanted to say in this video, since it's Christmas, is a Christmas idea. The idea is that you go off social media for a few days and focus on something else, focus on something nice. Something nice, such as this stone wall. quite aesthetic indeed. So anyway, I have thought about making a video for quite some time. It would be called Sex and the City and the Massive Elf. And basically what I wanted to say, and which I will say now, is what you feed your mind, just as you feed your body with good food, hopefully, you must feed your mind with the sort of thoughts you want to transform into action. So for example, if we say 10 of you watches 10 of my training videos, chances are that you will want to go and hit the gym or perhaps go out in the forest or perhaps go for a sprint or go for a boxing session or whatever. And that is also the point of my training videos. That is the effect. So I try to present it in a good way so that you want to do the same. Now, if you were to watch 10 episodes of Sex in the City, chances are that you would want to do something completely else. Um, you know, I watched a few episodes of Sex in the City. This was a long time ago, but I still remember, you know, it's a well-made series and they portray certain things in an aesthetic way. So, of course, if they portray a certain lifestyle in an attractive way, chances are that you will want to emulate certain aspects of that lifestyle. So what you have to think about is what do you feed your mind? What do you put into your mind and what, um, what sort of actions do you want to emulate? Now what does this have to do with Christmas you ask? You might say in the in the famous words of Bronze Age Pervert, you might say, what means? Yes, I will tell you what it means, but first let's admire the lake.
So anyway, what I am suggesting is that over Christmas, and this is something I will do myself, is that you take a little break from social media. Now, of course, for me, it is literally part of my job to keep updated on news, etc. So I need to be on Twitter to stay updated. I need to check the news, but it is also important to take a break. And especially if you have been blackpilled by various news. I mean, there is a lot of blackpilling news for uh, any Westerner to partake in if you want, especially if you're Swedish. So it's important to not feed your mind with these constant black pills. So for example, if you see some guys constantly be being beaten up, uh, some uh, guys of your bioculture constantly beaten up, uh, it's not good for your psyche to completely see that because it's also your mind might start seeing yourself as weak. So then it's better if you watch my videos and see I'm strong and if you relate to me as your beloved Primark, hopefully, or your lore master or whatever. If you see me being strong and you relate to me, I have to cross this little... It's to keep the um, animals from not going over. Um, anyway, point being, if you see a lot of guys who look like you being beaten up that's all you see yeah it's defeatist black pills it's not good for you because then you might see yourself in the same light but if you look at someone like me who you can relate to and see okay this guy is strong he's fit healthy um, and you relate okay I'm gonna attempt a little jump here Whoa. there we are Agility increased. Uh, anyway, point being, if you continuously feed your mind with black pilling and defeatist propaganda, it's nothing strange if you feel black pilled. And also, speaking about Bronze Age pervert, he said in his latest podcast that you can be a bit suspicious of these pages on Twitter or Facebook who are only sharing news where we are being perceived as victims. Um, you can see it as enemy propaganda that you want to tell you that you're weak. Now, of course, I want to tell you that you're strong, that you have the possibility to be strong. I want to say that I am strong too, because I am. Because I haven't been listening to the guys who want to tell me that I'm weak. I've never listened to them and now I'm strong. So I encourage you to do the same. And especially now over Christmas, take a break. I will take a break from Twitter, for example. Um, I might not post anything on... Well, I will post a traditional Christmas greeting on Instagram, of course. I'll see how many videos I make. I might make some more videos for optimal Christmas feels. But otherwise, I will try to take a break. And uh, I will not read the news. I will not check the Twitter timeline. I will not check up on so many things. I will instead read as much as possible. I will sit by the Christmas tree and read. I will update you on what I will read, but uh, probably some sort of Witcher book, the first Witcher books. See if I get any books in Christmas presents. And um, yeah, that's my plan at least. And I have some other books that I need to read, but you know, something light-hearted, not something heavy, something immersive that I can just fully focus in and also speaking of which if I'm slow at responding on emails for any of the businesses you know why I'm taking not taking a break there is no such thing for an entrepreneur such as myself but you know I will be a bit slower on it at least usually I am very fast but it's for a good cause again let's admire the lake Now I think this will be the thumbnail here, something like this. So anyway, when I'm out I might as well continue to talk a bit about how to feed your mind with uh, proper, proper soul nutrition. So it is good to stay updated, it is good to not forget the gravity of the situation 
but it's also good to not fool yourself into believing that everything is hopeless, that everything is lost, because it's not, and there are so many good things as well. And try to, if we're talking about who to follow on social media, etc., look at the accounts who post more self-improvement stuff, who post more, you know, historic stuff that is interesting, that makes you happy. Because if I say, if I have a 20-year-old guy, and he can follow two accounts, one account is only blackpilling, it's only about how bad everything is, and how weak he is, and how he stands no chance in life. Then you have another guy who follows an account who posts good information, good advice, some good news, makes him feel good. Then you ask yourself, who, which of these two guys with the same starting position, they're uh, equally handsome and equally uh, charming, etc. Who of these guys have the best possibility to acquire a fair maiden, to start a family? Yes, probably the guy who is a bit happier with life. The guy who has a bit more optimism. So then you see how... This is just an example, of course. But you see how much these black pills versus white pills can can make for someone. Then you have another two guys, also 20 years of age. One guy watches all of my training videos and watches a lot of other material as well. And he views himself as strong and formidable. He's confident because he relates to someone like me and see that I'm confident. Then you have another guy who's only watching videos where Europeans are getting beat up. Who will go with the most confidence down the street? Yes, probably the guy who watches videos where he perceives himself as being strong or he can relate to strength. And of course, you know, as I write in my book, that weakness invites aggression. So the confident and more high thumos guy, yeah, he's more likely to stand up for himself and to be less tempting of a target. So that is something to keep in mind, especially for younger guys. This might also be the thumbnail, looks like something out of Lord of the Rings. Quite aesthetic, to be honest. So anyway, you have to find a balance to not be oblivious to the situation but if you're already red-pilled, if you're already enlightened perhaps you don't need to partake in so much um, negativity that's more useful for the guys who aren't aware of the situation perhaps but if you are, focus on what you can do to make yourself better and also how can you make the guys on your side, the guys on your team, how can you make us stronger? So if I'm talking about my own channel, how can you make my channel stronger? That is a more legit concern than to be uh, concerned about something, a geopolitical issue you can't really influence anyway. Uh, then of course my recipe for strengthening my channel is that you that you physically subjugate a normling and force him or her to subscribe to my channel um, so we can reach more more good good people with these words of wisdom now of course also if we're talking about sex in the city and fantasy for example Lord of the Rings or uh, something like that, even Skyrim or The Witcher or something. That is also the food for the soul, for, for the mind. But it's also about how you process it, how you process the inspiration you get. I know there's a lot of guys who are nerds in a bad way because they use it as escapism that you see you can be a powerful hero in a game so then you don't need to be powerful yourself 
uh, this is a very dangerous thing and something I don't endorse in the least. Now, of course, if you want to play Skyrim or The Witcher or any such game, even Total War, and you see heroic ideals, you see a strong man who achieves his goals and who progresses in life, it must never be a substitute. So if you skip the gym because you want to game, that is fine every every once a month or something like that. Or if you're sick, of course, because then you shouldn't train. But if you substitute it, and if you're out of shape, if you're fat or if you're skinny or if you're weak, if you lack confidence, yeah, then you can't game. Because then you, then you haven't learned to convert the powerful inspiration to something useful then you're just wasting your time and uh, you're fooling your brain you're tricking your mind into believing that you are doing good things if you play these games and can derive motivation from them you're actually doing something good so that's the difference and this is something for all parents who are watching this if you say like oh should I let my son play this video game or computer game yeah has he been to training has he taken care of his schoolwork uh, has he taken care of business that's what you have to ask yourself and then he, you say to your son okay yeah you can play all night if you want but you need to go to your training first simple as that otherwise he might get into you know he might rewire his brain into getting a satisfaction by slaying a monster in a game but he hasn't slayed a new PR in the deadlift so it's um, it's not good optimally of course he slays the dragon in Skyrim then he goes to the gym because he has been inspired by it so uh, yeah that's my that's my Christmas idea at least so long story short take a break from social media focus on something else try to read as much as possible uh, go to the gym as well of course because hopefully you will eat a lot then lastly also I know there is a lot of guys who and girls of course who do not like Christmas because they have bad memories um, this is very tragic of course because maybe they have grown up with you know unstable family relations but you can still try to make Christmas into something nice even if you are by yourself just uh, Try to relax as much as possible, try to read as much as possible again. Or just do something nice and take a break from all the bad news. So uh, yeah, I will post maybe some other, maybe some other video to YouTube. Maybe a few posts on Instagram. Definitely my yearly marzipan pig picture on Instagram. But otherwise I will see. So anyway, thank you for watching this, this rambling. XXO, boom!